Hey everybody, Todd Bartusek with Berkshire Hathaway Real Estate and the All Metro Real Estate Group. So coming to you with the June market report for the Omaha market. Well, so Douglas and Sarpy really is what it is. Um, so the Omaha Metro. And this is for existing construction only. So I back out the new construction. Um, so what we saw, and this is, this is pretty normal for this time of the year. We saw uh, the units sold from May to June down about 10%. So we went from 897 in May to 810 in June. We saw an average sale price of 0 0.06. So stayed very, very consistent uh, with the prior month. Um, activity has still been solid. Um, uh, you know, like I said, we're still having to sell over 800 houses sell um, last month. Um, days on market sitting around nine. Um, so that's about what I would expect. So that's the overall market. The next uh, category I want to talk about is the move, or excuse me, is the first time home buyer. That's zero to 350,000. So we saw um, units again down about 11%, 561 to 498. Uh, average sale price. This does not surprise me in the, in the starter price point, up about 4% from 247 and some change to about 257. So that first time home buyer market continues to move upward. Um, so again, if you or anyone you know is in this price point in the first time category, the longer you wait, unfortunately, the higher the prices are going to get. Um, there is still a serious demand out there um, for housing in that first time home buyer market. So um, the next segment is the move up. That's 350 to 750. Now we saw units drop about 4%. So we went from 296 to 284. Um, and the uh, average sale price was down like 1% from 476 down to about 470. Um, so, you know, still good activity, but again, pretty typical of what I'm gonna see, you know, in the summer, because the summer does get a little slower. Um, I will say the summer is a good time to buy, um, depending on the product, the price point, um, the condition of the property. Um, August and July are typically slow. Um, because people are going on vacations and things of that nature. Um, so then the last segment I like to talk about is the luxury. That's 750 and above. We went from 40 units sold in May to 29 in June. So that's a drop of about 28%. And we went from an average, average sale price of 1.132 million down to about 1.107 million. So down about 2%. Uh, our days on market went up a little bit there also. And again, that does not surprise me um, based on, you know, people start to travel and things of that nature, you know, when school gets out. Um, so overall, again, the market continues to be solid. Uh, interest rates have played a little bit of a factor, um, but the people that can buy, um, they're buying. And there's multiple offer deals. We had, we had two listings last week we had one house with seven offers that was in the $400,000 price point. We had another one that had eight offers that was in like the 150 range. So still plenty of buyers out there. So whether or not you're a buyer or seller, definitely pay attention to these statistics. And depending on which side of the fence you're on, you know, use it to your advantage. And if you have any questions about, you know, hey, what price point could I be looking at? Where can I find a deal? Um, call me, put my 24 years to work and let's, uh, let's see if we can find you a deal. Thanks for watching. Um, and if you like these stats, uh, please follow me on my social media and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.